Dr. Latimer's consulting room. It's all right, I'm coming. It's probably for me. <laughs> yes, she's here. Hello? <laughs> Simon, can you talk? Where's Timmy? Oh, good. Well, at the moment, I'm up to my eyes in chicken livers. <laughs> I can't think why I volunteered to make the pâtés. No, it's fine. There's a sweet little kitchen here, and I borrowed Mummy's Magimix. <laughs> you should see Dr. Latimer's face. I haven't had a chance to tell him what it's about. <laughs> Have you organised the vino? Oh, good. And you gave them the address? Well done. Now, Simon, does everybody know they must be at Timmy's flat no later than eight? And you'll keep him away till a quarter to nine. Well, if there are any problems, ring me here any time. <laughs> Bye. Oh, no. what a... Simon, does everybody know that they must park away from the flat? If Timmy sees all those Porsches, he's bound to twig. <laughs> Ciao. May I? Yes, thank you, Dr. Latimer. I am but... so sorry about that. I'm organising a surprise birthday party for Timmy Buxton. You have no idea how difficult it is trying to keep it a secret. We've got food stored all over London. Felicity, you can't keep food in the piling cabinet. Be an angel, would you, and dial 4992121. My hands are sticky. Felicity. I must check that Lucinda Tennant knows she's doing the cheese board. Felicity. Oh, Lord, everything's happening at once. I'll ring Lucinda. You'd better answer the door. <laughs> it's probably Sir Geoffrey Lawson. Sir Geoffrey Lawson? Of the Dermatological Association? Yes, he said he needed to talk to you rather urgently. I suggested he popped in. I wonder what he wants. Spicer Gibbs. No. Uh, well, yes. Uh, delivery for um, Spicer Gibbs. But that'll be the vino. Can you stack them somewhere? <laughs> Dr. Latimer, perhaps you could show him. Lucinda? Flick Spicer Gibbs here. I gather there's some confusion as to who's doing the cheese board. No, Emma Montague is doing the profiterole. You're supposed to be doing the cheese board. <laughs> oh, ta, mate. <laughs> oh, all right. Now, if you'd just sign for that lot, I'll go and get the rest. <laughs> oh, Lord. In that case, who's doing the bean sprout and celery salad? <laughs> Your arm is still slightly infected, Mr. El Haddad. But if you continue to apply the antibiotic cream, it will get better, I assure you. Thank you. <laughs> well, listen, Moo, if you could do the quiches, I'd be eternally grateful. <laughs> But you must bring them round before a quarter to five. I'll be leaving work early. I will see you out, Mr. Hill Haddad. So you'll talk to Lucinda then? Yes, that's right. We'll tell her to ring me if there are any problems. I must go, Moo. Poor Dr. Latimer's beginning to think he hasn't got a secretary. <laughs> Yes, it's a good job one doesn't organise a surprise party every day. <laughs> Bye. I am so sorry about that, Dr. No, Latimer. No, Felicity. Oh, I'll get that. <laughs> it's probably Sir Geoffrey Lawson. Geoffrey, how are you? Very well, thank you. How are you, Blake? Oh, fine. How's Elspeth? How's her back? Mm, still giving her a bit of trouble, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. Give her my love. I will. <laughs> Tell you what. Shall I pop round and see? <laughs> <laughs> and so the association thought it was only right and proper that we... Sh